Think of a ticket being a case number or a file number. When you open a new case or file, all the related paperwork and information goes into that file. Tickets work the same way, open a ticket and all forms and information that is submitted under that ticket will be associated with that ticket number. From the dashboard, select General Setup. Then select Ticket Config. Ticket Config is broken down into two areas. Categories and Locations. Categories is the severity, or the urgency, and is typically broken down into high, medium, and low. But it can be customized however you would like. Locations is the area, building, site or object that is being affected by the ticket. Ticket forms are created almost the exact same way as other forms. Name it, give it a version and make it instant. Then save it. Select Make a Ticket Form. Select Pages at the top to view and edit how the form looks. Expand the ticket page by selecting the plus button. Here we can see the different fields on the form. The severity. The person who reports the ticket can add a comment to the ticket. The area, building, site or object that needs attention. Impact can be used to further break down tickets. It is sorted into high, medium, and low. This is the ticket report screen. From here you can choose, a date range to view tickets. Select the magnifying glass to view that ticket's details. This is where we can view forms and notes attached to that ticket. Stored forms can be viewed in either a word processor or web browser. You can add notes to a ticket. And assign work orders. You also have the ability to reopen and close tickets from the ticket detail screen. Creating jobs is easy. Select Workforce Management. And then create new job. From here, we can add details. Select a form to be associated with that job. And assign the job to a ticket. Adding an asset will allow you to attach the job to a checkpoint. The user who the job is assigned to has to scan the correct tag to finish the job. Additionally, not all assets have a tag. If the asset doesn't have a tag, the user can proceed with the job right after they have received it. They are notified that they have a new job and they can accept it and reject it. Jobs assigned to tags can only be rejected. Now we can schedule the job. Select the date you want to schedule the job for. Then, then simply, simply select, select the time and user, and user which, you which you would like, like to assign, assign the job to. to. Then, then select book. You, you have, have now, now created, created your, your first job. job. The mobile user will be prompted, informing them a new job has been received. In the job screen the user will see when the job is due by, and also the asset it is attached to. When the correct tag is read, the form that was attached to it is sent to you and the job is marked as complete.
forms are highly customizable, with tables, text boxes, pictures, time and GPS stamps. Once submitted the form is sent from the mobile device to the web interface. If we go back into the web interface and into the ticket report. We now see that the job has been completed. Selecting the details will allow us to view the submitted form. Simply open or save the file. Now we can close the ticket.